Okay, in this video, I want to talk about the kind of integrations, which is a little bit advanced, just showing you where it's at, and then how to connect your domain name, which can be really simple, even though it feels complex, but we're going to make it simple. All right, so let's jump into the screen. And as you remember, we've walked through like this dashboard post. We're going to go all the way down here to the very bottom. Now, first of all, if you click on the little person down here, you'll see what's new, your profile, help center, which is great, resources and guides. Every time I've reached out to their customer service, they've been very responsive, which is a good thing. This little toggle right here is if you wanted it to be a dark theme. Uh, this does not affect your website. It's just your admin side. And then you got this kind of gear icon. So if you click on this gear icon, this again is where we've walked through this together on the website members. Now we're down here at advanced. So this is where you'll find integrations. And this is where you'll take steps if you want to on some of their other integrations. You can add custom integrations. But again, that's beyond the scope of this training. But let's say if you want to cook or hook up your Google Analytics you would just follow the instructions right here, step by step. It's really simple to do so, just using that as an example. All right, what I wanna do is I wanna click on Ghost Pro. I know it's kind of on your screen, but by clicking on it, this is the billing section where you can decide if you want to upgrade, if you wanna get an annual discount, their current pricing. You may have already made that option, but I just wanted to go here because I wanted to show you this is where domain list is listed, which what we're going to do right now. And then you've got support over here, which is just reaching out to support at ghost.org. So let's go to domain. First of all, I would encourage you to click on the using a custom domain, which is going to open up this help page. And we're going to use that because that's important. And then you're going to want to walk through this process of setting this up. So we're going to click on setup here. Now it wants to know what is the domain that you want to use. So I've collected a bunch of domains over time. Some I just hold on to, and I'm not currently using this one called messengerlaunchpad.com. So we're going to use this one as an example. So messengerlaunchpad.com. Let's come back over here. Let's type in www.messengerlaunchpad.com pad.com. Okay, so that is the domain. Now is telling me that I need to do a little bit of setup here. This can be intimidating, but we're going to keep it really simple. It may look different. I'm using Namecheap, but a lot of them are very similar. What we're trying to find is the DNS records. So I'm in Namecheap. Here it is. I'm going to go into manage. And once I'm inside manage, I'm going to look for some kind of DNS settings is what I want. So you can see here, I can go over here to advanced DNS. So I'm going to click on that. And I'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay, as we scroll down, it's by default, all of these are going to have just like something here. You can just hit delete. Just so you don't get confused, we're going to delete both of these, not a problem. So we're going to need to add a new record. So we're going to click on add a new record, and it's going to ask us, like, what type? There's all these different options. That's where we're going to go back to our page here. And it's telling us that the record type is a C name. C names, all right? So we're going to just go back and forth with that page open. We're going to find C name. Here it is. So we've got C name. Perfect. Let's go back. What is the host? It's www. Let me go back. So host is right here. I'm just going to type in www. You could do this, right? All right, value. I am going to send the value here because we're not going to use this anymore, but it's going to know which site on Ghost to connect our domain to. So value here is also the target. We're going to click that in. Okay. So we've got that part set up. We're going to need to do one more record type. So let's go back. Now that this is good, in mine, I have to hit this little save changes. Yours may be different, but I'm going to click on the asterisk. That part's done. So I need to set up one more record. So I'm going to click add new record. And let's see what's the other one. The record type is A. So we're going to choose the A record. 
For the host, it wants us to use the at symbol. So for host, we're going to put in at symbol. And then for the value, it's a bunch of numbers. So make sure you copy and paste just the numbers. And we're going to put them in here as the IP address. And we're going to click on Save Changes. Now, this will take up to 24 hours before, in this case, I would be able to go to messengerlaunchpad.com, right? So I've got this set up, but it's going to take a while. So if I come over here, you'll see when I look up, it's just, there's just nothing here. So you want to give it some time. If after a day, 24 hours, it's still not showing up for you, I would reach out to support. They can try to assist you, help you, make sure you're doing it correctly. But yeah. Oh, sorry. You do have to come here and hit active, <laughs> activate. So you do want to come down here and hit activate. And it says it only takes 20 minutes, but I've seen it take up to 24 hours. It might show up sooner than later. I hope it does for you, but don't be concerned if it's only been an hour or two. Sometimes it can take a while for it to completely, the word is called propagate all throughout the entire web because it's a brand new website. It's going to take some time for it to get out there. So there you go. That's how you connect the domain name. In just a few short videos, we've created the homepage of our site. We have learned how to create posts, how to create pages, how to set up our navigation, how to build our email list, how to email the people on our list, and how to set up our domain name. I hope you're excited about simple way to get your message out there. I'm absolutely excited about this. I love it. I decided to move over from WordPress for my blogging your passion brand since I still get a lot of traffic and have, gosh, over five, 600 posts over there. So it's absolutely joy. I love Ghost and I hope you will too.